Hey guys, so I just woke up and boy, did we get a nice little Christmas present. So we got the patch notes for the breaker patch that is coming out tomorrow. And I wanted to go over that with y'all today. Now I'm just going to be covering a lot of the important stuff and skipping over some of the stuff that I don't think are as important that you guys can check out in the full notes, which I will link in the description below, but let's get started. So of course, tomorrow breaker is coming out, right? This is the new class. Everybody's been looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it. I'm looking to play it. Personally, I have played Sura Breaker in the past, so that's the one that I've been making. But if you're still having trouble deciding which one you want to make, I will have a link to a video up over here on the top right that I'll talk about a little bit of the differences between the two. But the Breaker class is coming out and that is super, super exciting. But in addition to that, we are getting the Arkesia Tour, which is the Horizontal Express, guys. The Horizontal Express is finally coming to Lost Ark. I was a little bit pessimistic and thinking that maybe we wouldn't get it with the Breaker, even though I thought that this would be the perfect time to introduce it. And they listened, maybe, um, but they're releasing this with the Breaker, which is absolutely, absolutely exciting. This is going to give you a lot of stuff that is going to help you start your character up that was previously locked by horizontal content. Um, I am not going to be talking about every single thing that's going to be in this. I have a, another video that I made on the horizontal express, which I'll link again on the top right, which will go over in detail what the express gives. But what you need to know is that it'll be giving a lot of stuff for adventure tome. It'll be giving everything up until, um, South Fern. So everything from the beginning, all the way up until Punica South Fern, you'll have to start unlocking that stuff on your own. And then um, in terms of the skill points, it'll also give you a ton of that as well. But the one thing that I do want to mention is that unfortunately it will not give you the second purple wealth rune and it will not give you your skill points from your Omnium, your um, Ignea token. It actually won't give you zero Ignea tokens. It'll give you progress towards it, but it won't give you any Ignea tokens. And that to me is a little bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, but it does give you some um, progress towards the Wealth Rune as well. You'll get, I think, 22 Sea Bounties. So that is some progress and some help for you on that path. But that is coming, and that is super, super exciting. And I'm looking forward to it. They're going to be adding a new continent or a new story. Um, that is interesting if anybody likes the story stuff. <laughs> um, but also, they are adding the Elgacia Power Pass for free. Um, as a part of this event and also they will be bringing back the super mococo express as we all expected right and this express is going to be taking our characters from 1460 to 1580 which is absolutely amazing i thought they were going to do the mococo express and like the breaker uh path of breaker kind of like combined but i guess they just named it mococo express to make it simple and easy so this is going to take you from 1460 to 1480 it's going to be all lumped into one so you'll need to take this on one character and it'll bring it all the way from 1460 to 1480, which just happens to be the item level that you get when you use the Elgacia Power Pass. So go ahead, use your Elgacia Power Pass. Then you can use the Super Mococo Express on that character if you want. Now what this is going to do is give you an increase to your honing percentage, give you a honing materials discount, leapstone discount, a gold discount, and also doubles your artisan energy, which is absolutely amazing. And of course, it'll, as usual, give you the engraving supports as well as the gems. So that is very, very exciting and very, very helpful for anybody who is trying to either hold up an alt or create a new character. And the super interesting part is, in addition to that, is we are getting this descend into darkness, which is basically the path of Thamai, the road to Thamai. And this will start kicking in after your Mococo Express. It'll kick in starting at 1580 and get you to 1600. Now, while the support only goes up to 1600, which um, it says here, the gear honing support effect applied to the honing account ancient gear from 1580 to 1600, decrease the amount of gold and materials needed to hone along the way, as well as, well as granting double R's energy. So this is very, very nice and will grant you some support in your honing from 1580 to 1600 with your Akan gear. But the thing is, it does not actually take you all the way to Thamine. The honing support does not take you all the way to Thamine, but the thing is they will give you rewards at six to every five item levels between 1580 to 1610. So while it will not take you 
1610 in terms of the holding support they will give you rewards from you know 1600 1605 and 1610 to hopefully uh, help you get that um get your characters up in addition to this they will also give you bonus stuff from your triangle from your con and your um advanced getting advanced holding material chest from completing chaos dungeons so again it'll be more special stuff to help you juice up your characters and push it forward i think this is awesome um and very very helpful for anybody and what i would recommend for anybody trying to i guess use these events to their advantage is that with a character let's say you don't you have your main right your main isn't 1600 yet it's not 1610 yet and you want to progress that level I would suggest using the Makoko Express on an alt and then putting this Descend into Darkness onto your main. That way you can use that to catch your main up to the current content and be ready for Thaimine by the time it comes out. Again, that's just my recommendation. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. And also, if you are planning to push your alt or your new Makoko Express character as a main, so into the main slot, then go ahead, use both of those on your Makoko Express character. But it's just that if you are planning to only use that Makoko Express character as an alt and your main isn't quite at Thaimine yet, I would definitely recommend you use this Descend into Darkness on your main. That way you can use it to catch up to the current content. They're also giving us extra endgame content rewards. And this is not like holding material, like the materials to uh, craft your armor and stuff like that, though they will be doing that a little bit later in the patch notes. But this is like in addition to these, uh, you know, rewards that you get up here, right? They'll also be adding some extra rewards for clearing these raids all the way up until July 17th. So when you clear these raids, Relshaza um, Gate 3, Kango Gate 3, Akan Gate 3, you know, and for both normal and hard modes, you will be in the Ivory Tower Gate 4, you will be getting extra honing materials, which again, will boost up our characters which is very very nice and then last but not least as there's a lot of stuff going on in this patch with honing last but not least they're giving us a honing event mission which is basically between 1580 and 1619 you will be receiving a you know one of the honing books so two of the honing books every time you get a hone from your first hone fourth hone eighth hone 12th hone and 16th hone for your weapon and then you'll also be getting 10 of those books for your armor and oh also forgot additionally 2500 gold same with the armor 2500 gold for your honing um and i believe this is when you do your first armor hone then their 20th then the 40th 60th and 80th so they will be giving you some support there it's not going to be like as nice as this stuff right not as nice as the coco express and descended in darkness it's not gonna be nice as that it will give you no boost to the percentages or the materials required, but they will give you a little bit of, you know, here you go, a constellation prize for failing some hones <laughs> for your characters between 1580 and 1619. And, you know, if you get lucky, maybe you don't even have to get all these, but for the most part, you probably will be receiving all these rewards all the way up until, you know, 1619, 1620 area. But this is all very, very nice honing materials. I think the reason why they're doing this is because they're not really giving us a honing buff like korea doesn't have the honing buff so we're not going to get it but they do want to do something to help us out to get our characters up so they're going to be giving this additional honing materials to us to help us push our characters up so it's very nice um there's gonna be the archisha grand prix so the new racing event frog is gonna be extended for a month as we know um but the thing is i don't know if this will be refreshed like this if the special shop will be refreshed my guess is it probably won't but who knows Maybe we will. Um, but the frog, very nice for our new characters. And of course, they're going to be updating some of the kind of daily login rewards and things like that. So that's very nice. Store upgrades. Unfortunately, legendary skins will not be coming with Breaker. So Breaker will just be getting the old Striker skins, which is actually very, very lame. Um, I was hoping that we'd get the new uh, legendary skins, but that didn't come. Um, but the other thing is that we are getting a Volus Power Pass that you can purchase. So the event will give us a Punic, uh, or not Punica, an Elgacia power pass, but we can purchase a Voldus power pass if we didn't want to do the story for Voldus. So that is very nice. Gonna be getting a new arc pass. And then here is some kind of general quality of life stuff, right? Um, what I'm gonna be covering for this really is kind of the most important stuff. 
which is that um, down here, as we can see, we are going to be getting the island updates. So we're going to be getting uh, matchmaking for islands between uh, servers in our region, which is going to be very nice. Hopefully we will be able to do more kind of like horizontal stuff with this in addition to the horizontal express. So everybody will get it, their horizontal stuff done. Um, and then we are also getting the increased honing menu so we can just, you know, quit, quickly click and uh, pass our hones and not have to click back and forth between like the honing and special honing menu that we did. It was really jank. Um, this is something that we're, we're getting faster honing animation skips. Um, and you also use the reuse the same honing support materials. If you want, you have a little checkbox that will do that. Well, the other stuff is, and the most important thing is we are getting the Arcturus's touch for a con and triangle, which means that we'd be basically getting double of the crafting materials for the armors for this, which is absolutely wonderful. It's been so long coming and really like the Akan mats takes forever to accumulate. So it is so nice that they're giving this to us and uh, making this faster. Now, the last thing that I did want to cover in here, because the rest of this isn't really like all that interesting. Um, well, actually, before we get into the balance updates, the last thing I want to cover is the fact that for masterpieces, we are getting all that stuff that we used to get. Like we used to get gold from masterpiece rewards. That is all getting converted into silver now. So instead of getting gold, you're getting silver. So if you haven't done all your masterpieces yet to get your gold and you want to get that, please go and do that right now because you about, have about a day to do it. <laughs> um, but yes, that is the stuff that is coming. And then we have the balance updates. They listed the balance update for Deathblade, which was a nerf to the um, Surge Deathblade. And they didn't list the Breaker here, but it has been confirmed by Henry that breaker is also getting the nerfs, but it's just that breaker isn't out yet. So they didn't really feel the need to list it as a balance update because we're just getting the nerf version regardless. So that is the patch in a nutshell, a quick TLDR. Hopefully you guys are happy about this patch and are excited about the breaker as excited as I am. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications and also leave a comment in the comment section down below. Like, you know, what class are you making the fire pass, right? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I stream every single night on twitch.tv slash miso starting at 10 PM PST. So hopefully I see you guys on the stream. But if not, hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. All right guys, peace out.